Hiya folks, uh, due to popular demand, after I did that little chicken the other week, Chris, popular demand, Chris, I said I'd carve one. Uh, there's the chicken, and that's the cockerel. That's the other cockerel I did, he's crowing. I've, this is second attempt because I cut a piece of green willow from garden like that. But the problem is with it, it's got a pith in it. It carves really nice, it's really easy to carve. But the pith got me. It took the pith, so to say. So I messed the head up because it split. There's bits I was split off, but I turned it round because that's a cockerel and that's a pheasant. Yeah? So I made a pheasant looking sideways. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not this video. But what I've got is this. This is a piece of hazel. Uh, yeah, hazel. Uh, it's a little bit dry. It's better if it's wet. And I'll go through process. I'll just show you the basic idea. That's going to be his tail. Yeah. His head. I've got to shave it down in that direction. And his feet in the opposite direction. Across from his tail yeah and that gives you the head and then the feet just will say one thing you need a really sharp knife all right I'm gonna do some videos about some making some tools from a saw blade I'll show you that but a strop just a piece of old leather a bit of leather belt and some polishing compound and I'll do a shortening video too but it's really got to be air popping sharp a sharp knife safer than a blunt knife because if you're pushing through something and it splits off you, you will cut yourself gloves I'm left handed I should have a glove on this hand and a thumb guard on this thumb for when I'm doing these sort of cuts you, you're pretty safe on that sort of cut, but you, if you push your thumb forward, which you're not supposed to, you're only supposed to use that bit, then you push your thumb into the blade. But I'll go on with it. I'll go through it quick as I can. I'll show you stuff that I'm going to make first from this saw blade and my thoughts. Any suggestions would be interesting from you guys too. Now what I've got here is an old blunt saw blade. And... I've just made a crook knife actually, but I'm going to see how many uh, actual tools I can make out of this. Looking for suggestions too. So, what I have in my head so far, some of them might work because this is pretty thin, it's about a millimetre thick. But some might work, some might not, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and make a, a small draw knife, which will be flexible. I need to make a couple of scrapers and uh, I'm going to make another crook knife or hook knife because the first one I made, yeah, I learnt a few lessons off it but I'll show you that and uh, what else do I want to make? A spoke shave blade so I'll make a spoke shave there'll be videos coming up every one will be separate I suppose and I'll try to be as clear as, as I possibly can <laughs> Got a little bit of an impediment when I speak. <laughs> Gonna make you a brother. So, basically, all I'm gonna do is get these two pieces down, top and bottom, to where I want them. Because this, like I say, that will be the feet, and then I'll do opposite direction on the head. I'll speed this up, I'll put some music on some music on I am allowed to listen to here <laughs> and uh, I'll show you bits as I get to them the more important bits but these are really quick and easy better if your woods greener or wetter than this this is not completely dry but it's pretty dry <laughs> just took sides off the idea is to leave this bark on um, it looks like um, plumage I almost said foliage and it would be if it was a tree but it's not anymore but you're just taking it down 
like I say, at the bottom it's across from the tail and on the top it's sort of in line with the tail. That's not quite in line because that piece sort of goes off to one side a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to split his legs. So I'm putting a V cut in there. That's where your thumb guard comes in. <laughs> and a V cut in there. I'm going to work my way through from both sides. I'll do a bump for one here. So I know where I'm coming through. But all I'm doing is splitting these legs back to splitting. Back to fast forward until something else comes up. So I've just defined them legs a bit could do with a bit more <clears throat> but I'll have to do a bit on Ed. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a cut up here, get rid of this um, bark and I'm going to round this top off a little bit, top of his head, which basically Like that. And then I'm just going to point that up a little bit. Because that will be his comb. Every one of these come out different anyway. And from the back, we do little cuts in. Stop cut across there. Oh, that's took that off. Not to worry. So I've got to do his beak. So that's basically the top of his beak, and again, I can just point that out a little bit. Yeah, and then here. I want to put a cut in underneath a stop cut. Now what I'm going to do is cut the bottom of his beak. Again, I'll thin that up a bit. down and then take that out and his beak can be defined more so I've took that out yeah and now I've got to do underneath for his bottles cutting in Mm. 
and basically just shaping up underneath his chin. Yeah. So underneath his wattles, again it can be thinned out a little bit as you go along if you were to attempt it. Just some definition. And even though I took one of his crests off, it still doesn't matter. It turned out okay. <laughs> What I'm going to do is do a, a split down in the middle of there, which would be just a little V-cut. Now if you've got a V-tool, which I have, but I'm only doing this with a knife. So that's that split. And again, it's just a little bit of shaping then. Again, just little cuts, defining shape round his head, back of his neck. Again, back of his neck would do a bit more of it, actually. Just keep looking at it from different directions. The beauty of these is, it's all practising <laughs> and materials free, isn't it? You know, what's better than that? Now for the odd bit, his tail. Now this is dry. I'm not very good at tails, but I'll show you how they go. I'm just going to shorten that. Now what I've got to do now. I'm just going to start cutting slices down it. You will lose some. The thinner, the thinner and better the slices, the better the tail. I have to admit, I'm not very good at this. But you're trying to take even curls. The thinner you get them, curlier they are. Again, this cut, all I'm doing is that with my hand and pushing with my thumb under his chest. Yeah? I've got control, I can't cut myself. That's the most important thing. I always have band-aids and super glue at hand. Trying to split it. Oh, see, he's lost one. Trying to split it and follow it grain. And when I get as far as I can from this side, or as far as I believe I can from this side, I'll take them front bottom. Just tidy up a bit. And that's your basic cockerel. I'll just put some colour on it. So what I use is these just pens and I could go I could go into more detail on that and tidy it up better but for speed and obviously you can do as much as you want can't you or as nuts as you like I don't have a yellow for his beak and his legs I have to steal that from one of the kids That's it, your basic cockerel. But they're quite fun to do. And they look great if you display them. You can display them. I'll show you. And that's how that sort of looks. 
this is just moss <laughs> in a plant tree and the, ch the chickens themselves obviously they ain't got the long legs keep the legs on until you finish carving and you cut the tail like you would do the head but obviously just rounding it off into a hen's tail and then you've got your Easter chickens maybe not Easter rabbits and so if you made it through that and before I do go and you missed this bit I'll be making some tools now this is the crook knife I made I learnt a few lessons off it but I'll do that when I do crook knife I put a tang on it shouldn't have put a tang on it put this oak handle on it and snapped it but I'm going to redo it into this handle it was too long anyway and that piece that I couldn't carve or the other piece from the uh, pussy willow with the core in it if you can see there's the core on the chicken there I managed to get the chicken out of it on a stump maybe the chopping block but anyway if you like this video give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down drop a comment in and uh, thank you for watching it's nice to be nice